A group rejected from their homeland. Exile. Forgotten. This brave group of people and other kins left their safe space and ventured out into the world wide web. This is their story. A quick history lesson. In the early 2010s, Tumblr was a social media giant, almost on the level of competing with the big boys. It starts out as a simple blogging site and gets really popular really quick. And I'm talking so popular that it was bought out by Yahoo for an agreed $1.1 billion. Now, Yahoo, a company known for its fantastic financial decisions, had significant investment in the platform. Things were undoubtedly looking up. But by 2019, it sold for just $3 million, which for all of you math nerds out there, is less than 0.3%. That's almost unheard of. What caused this though? Well, like any other big social media platform, Tumblr had its fair share of controversies. Mostly pretty standard stuff, you know, copyright abuse by scummy companies, security issues, and interface changes that upset people. Now all of this is rather standard for a social media going through growing pains, especially one of Tumblr's size. But the worst of the Tumblr controversies came from the user base, which was so bad that the site had to take some drastic measures in order to curb their behavior. Anti-bullying measures were put in place as well as harassment rules, but the most significant of these changes was the banning of not safe for work material. Which on the surface doesn't sound like such a terrible idea and certainly shouldn't sink a large social media website, especially one the size of Tumblr. But Tumblr is a little unique. You see, there are some core pillars that make up Tumblr's user base, including bloggers, social activists, and I use this term very, very loosely, memers. Whew, ain't spicy goodness. Rock, paper, ice pick. But out of all of these bases, the most important are the artists. Tumblr is huge amongst the online art community, and deservedly so. Its user-friendly interface, as well as easy reblogging features, made it a hit amongst online artists. And when artists start to join, you get an exponential increase in other artists. The more artists join, the more artists they inspire, the more artists centralize their work on the platform. At the time, Tumblr was the unquestioned hub in regards to internet artists. But not all of these artists were your clean-cut definition of an artist. Some of them partook in less than desirable forms of art. Let's just say a lot of these artists overlapped with Rule 34 and DeviantArt people. And with that brought in another group of users, with these ones being, let's say... Look, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, they were degenerates. And from there, it snowballed again to the point where Tumblr was very well known for its wide selection of not safe for work content. While these communities weren't directly connected, there was a lot of overlap between them. They existed in somewhat of a symbiotic relationship. But then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. One day, Tumblr decides to put a universal ban on all not safe for work content. Generally speaking, a social platform that allows adult content requires heavy amounts of moderation because it can really toe a line of what content is allowed and what content isn't. With a user base as large as Tumblr, it would take a huge amount of staff and capital to moderate said content. Either Tumblr didn't think it was worth it or they didn't have said resources. Which when you think about it, being a moderator for this type of content must be extremely difficult. So that's why uh, me, the certified moderator expert, would like to salute all not safe for work moderators. This is why certain websites like The Hub just straight up banned all user generated content. With Tumblr's sweeping ban on all not safe for work content, it left these artists and a huge chunk of its user base lost with no nation nowhere to call home. So what's step one when you lose your home? Find a new one. Why don't homeless people just buy a house? If you're homeless, just buy a house. It was time for the but it turns out it's not that easy, because out of the big social media platforms, only a few of them allow content they were looking for. Some sites were already eliminated by default, like Instagram and Facebook, which have fairly strict rules in regards to adult content. You also couldn't move to a platform that didn't really have a strong sense of community, like Snapchat. Once you whittle it down, you're only left with two real options, Reddit, and Twitter, my two favorite websites. Once they found their targets, the diaspora began. Tumblr lost its user base the same way it got it, from artists moving, and when the artists moved, so did the people who followed them. And when they left, 
the people who relied on them for reblogging also left. So our hero set off to enter these unknown realms. But when they got there, they had a few problems. They're full of unsavory people. They were out of their element, with no trigger warnings, no safe spaces, and no Steven Universe artists to bully into suicide for not drawing fat characters. Yes, that actually happened, but fortunately nobody died. Turns out Tumblr might not have been the safest place for kids. Foreshadowing happens when clues in a story hint at future events. Anyway, the Tumblrites were not ones to give up. They did as the Europeans did, to basically everywhere and colonized it. No safe spaces? Guess what, we're gonna make them. Not just small sections, but the entire platform. Subreddits like anti-hate communities were deployed to wipe out hate across Reddit by spamming hateful subreddits with possible illegal imagery, allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly. And when they got rid of all the hate subs, they aimed their sights at subs attempting to have discussions. Although these ones were a lot harder to get banned. And once that got boring, it turned into cherry picking posts from random subs they didn't like trying to get them banned. Which didn't work very well, but it keeps these people busy because they're losers who have no fucking life. Worst of all, they attacked r slash big chungus and successfully got it banned. Literally 1984. Meanwhile, on the Twitter front, things were a bit less organized, yet still somewhat effective. Hate mobs to bully other people, spamming people with the meanest shit you could imagine in the name of tolerance. You know how it is. Pretty standard Twitter stuff. Now it's tough to say whether all this was from Tumblr directly. However, there is most certainly a correlation to the decline in public opinion towards these platforms and the Tumblr exodus. It's generally accepted that the Tumblr exodus occurred around 2018. However, users had certainly been establishing a footprint on other platforms like Reddit and Twitter before then. They just didn't become their main platforms until Tumblr banned not safe for work content. We can't say Tumblr is responsible for these changes 100%. Obviously, there are other factors that go into it, but we can try our best to look at some of the correlations between Tumblr behavior then and Twitter and Reddit behavior now. Horrible overused jokes and wholesome memes? Check. Romanticizing mental illness? A Tumblr classic. Check. Most importantly, an element of extreme toxicity and saying the nastiest things you can think of to people. Big ol' check there. Well, we were listening Barbie Girl before you guys asked me to do media, so I was kind of dancing with his glasses out in the locker room, and, and then you guys ruined it, and I had to go answer the question, so I missed the Barbie Girl song, and, uh, you know, who knows what's going to be on when I come back. As of current year, it is safe to say that Tumblr has massively influenced Twitter and Reddit unlike any other platforms. As for Tumblr itself, it's tanked in both value and user base. Falling faster than a meme stock, it dropped over 100 million monthly users from 2016 to 2019. Holy fuck, that's a lot of people. But why? 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 Why did all of this happen? Why did Tumblr ban anything not safe for work? Why did Tumblr essentially hit the self-destruct button? That is the ultimate question. And it's pretty easy to answer. In fact, I have the answer. It's because the user base kept flooding the site with massive amounts of unmoderated child porn. 